Hey YouTube, what's going on? So, real quickly, I wanted to do a video on a um, somewhat of a problem or what I thought was a problem, but actually it's a safety feature on the uh, Savage Model 12 6.5 Creedmoor. Me and a buddy of mine went out to the range this weekend, do some shooting, and probably got 60, maybe going on 80 rounds in this gun, and noticed a, noticed a little issue or what I thought was a, a, a major problem. <coughs> so, if anybody uh, ever comes across this, hopefully this will help, um, and we'll get to it. So... This gun is a uh, precision rifle and it has the precision accu trigger versus the standard accu trigger that Savage puts in their arm uh, in their in their guns, excuse me. So the problem I was having is uh, the gun's unloaded, but the problem I was having is that you know I was getting some you know good shots and you know kind of dialing in my scope and all that kind of stuff so you know not an issue but the thing is is that if you take this you know bolt and go fast it locks the trigger up safety feature um i'm not real quite completely understanding about the the whole fast bolt cycle or whatever uh, if you take the gun and actually do the same thing, uh, you know, lightly, you know, reset the firing pin, then, and take the gun upside down and actually bump it hard enough, it will do the same thing. It will, the trigger will actually seize up and, and it will not fire. Um, two ways to fix this. One is it's not your back bolt is the problem ejecting around fast it's not coming up fast it's when you clamp down it locks the trigger up so what you're going to have to do is you're just going to have to come down slower and it'll, it'll allow you to shoot now i'm not sure about the standard accu trigger on you know just the average you know savage guns or whatever but this like i said this is a precision accu trigger and which I believe is identified by the red trigger guard, uh, trigger and trigger here. So your first way to fix this is basically just come down smooth on your downstroke and the gun will fire. Your second option to fix this is to go in and adjust your trigger so that it's not as sensitive. Um, I've been told that it will start to slowly maybe spread your groups because you're putting more, you know, you're doing more trigger pull to get the trigger to fire uh, versus a very extreme light trigger. And this trigger is, is, is very light. I mean, it, it just, it's beautiful. But if you rack it and come down fast, it locks the trigger up. So... I guess it's kind of one of those things where you basically the trigger's too good that it's bad maybe i'm not sure could be a good thing so that the gun doesn't go off if you know bumped or dropped or you know whatever the case may be but um also if you come down hard enough it will not allow you to activate the safety as well it basically seizes up everything. I'm not sure the functionality or what it's, you know, how it's working, but I, I took this to the gun store that I bought and the gunsmith up there said, you know, that's pretty much what it is. He checked a couple of forums. Other people were having problems with this. So um, the fix is, is that the trigger, I guess, is so sensitive or so good that it's kind of an inconvenience to some point. I plan on you know doing some hunting with this if possible so i may go in and have um i may go in and have the trigger adjusted or i may do it myself or whatever to 
you know, because if you miss a bad shot, the, the, the next thing you want to do is you want to be able to get a bolt in there and get it slammed down, and you want to be able to get your, you know, sight on your target or whatever and get a shot off. But you're not allowed to do that because it, I guess it's a safety feature in here. So if anybody's had this problem or if you come to this problem, um, you know, this is the problem. It's, it's more of the downstroke of the bolt. Um, not racking it out, not coming forward. It's the downstroke of the bolt. So I'm not sure if it's that way with other Savage rifles. I just know that this rifle, uh, the precision rifles are with the precision accu trigger are probably going to be the problem here. This is my first Savage. Um, I've, I've always shot like FN and Seiko rifles and so anyway your fix is to come down slow or go in and have your trigger adjusted so that when you come down it doesn't lock your trigger up and that's your fix um, other than that your third option is you know deal with it um, I was pretty upset yesterday or this past weekend when I went to the range I, you know I've got a lot of money in this rifle uh, you know, I got, I got money in the rifle, the, the, you know, the bipod, the 20 millimeter, the 20 MOA rail, excuse me. And I got a vortex Viper on here, you know, and the last thing I wanted to do was, you know, I thought my gun was messed up, but in actuality, the gun was basically telling me, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm on safety mode. So anyway, if anybody comes across this or you're curious as to what's going on with it. This is the problem. It's your downstroke of the bolt. You need to be smooth and, you know, just figure out what works for you or have your trigger adjusted. I'm probably going to have my trigger adjusted because, like I said, even if I'm shooting competition, um, you know, I want to be able to get that bolt down and get around, get, a, get on target and, and get, a, you know, around out of the barrel as quickly as possible. And to me, that's a good feature, but it's also an inconvenience. So weigh your options and see what works for you. And um, I, hope this, I hope this video helped you guys out. Anybody that has this issue, um, this is your problem, but it's also not a problem. Take it how you want to. All right, guys, I hope this helped you out. And uh, like I said, just, you know, either have your trigger adjusted or, you know, just come down on your downstroke of your bolt and or just deal with it. It's one of three options. So other than that, the gun runs beautifully. There's no malfunctions. Um, and, you know, like I said, just keep that in mind. All right, guys, thanks. And I hope this helped you out.